Hello, I am Famita Maman. Today we will learn adaptation. Adaptation. Only those organisms survive that have the characteristics that help them to cope with the particular environment. Those which cannot adapt are eliminated. The development of characteristics which help an organism to survive in a particular environment is known as adaptation. The degree of adaptation differs in different groups of plants and animals. Some are being closely adapted and others being more generalized. Example, honeybees remain closely adapted to their particular mode of life. They have many adapted features like tubular mouth, parts for sucking nectar, hair and brushes for gathering pollens, wax glands for production of wax. In addition to this, they have a division of labor in their colony. Man, on the other hand, shows generalized adaptations, as he is capable of adjusting to diverse habitats. The habitat a place where an organism fits in nature is the natural developing area of an organism called habitat. Organisms, whether it is plant or animal, need food, shelter, water and oxygen from its surroundings. Different animals and plants require different habitats. An aquatic plant needs water to survive. An arboreal animal needs trees, desert trees animals need desert to live. Habitat provides food, shelter and proper environment to an organism. There are three major types of habitats, terrestrial, aquatic and arboreal. In any habitat, all living forms interact with each other and with their surroundings. This interaction of biotic and abiotic components is also called interdependence. The existence of plant, animals and microorganisms. Temperature, moisture, air, water and soil in different ways. You can notice the interdependence in many ways. 1. All living organisms depend on non-living components of the environment. 2. Animals depend on the plants for food, shelter and protection. 3. Human beings need both plants and animals for food, water, clothing. For microorganisms depend on dead and decaying matter. They decompose the dead things into simple inorganic minerals which return to the soil. 5. Plants obtain these minerals from the soil. Terrestrial habitat. This includes habitat of living organisms which live and propagate on land. Some examples of terrestrial habitat are forest, grasslands, deserts, coastal, and mountain regions. Organisms found in terrestrial habitat are called terrestrial organisms. Example, cow, elephant, dog, donkey, lion, camel, tiger, fox, etc. Aquatic habitat. It includes habitat of all organisms that live and propagate in water ponds, swamps, lakes, rivers, and oceans are some examples of aquatic habitats. Organisms found in aquatic habitat are called aquatic organisms. Example, fish, lotus, seaweeds, water lily, etc. Arboreal habitats. Organisms which adapt themselves to live on trees 
from the arboreal habitat. Organisms that live on trees are called arboreal organisms. Example, monkeys and squirrels. There are some variation in habitats like birds have aerial habitats and some animals like frog and toads live both on land and in water form amphibious habitat of plants and animals according to the habitat plants and animals adapt themselves to survive in a particular environment plants and animals have different features to survive in a particular surroundings for example a fish has the following features suitable for her aquatic life one streamlined body which help in movement two scales which protect the internal parts three fins and tails help in swimming and four gills help the fish to take oxygen terrestrial habitat and adaptations deserts deserts are areas which receive very little rainfall deserts are very hot and dry camels cactus deep palm trees rattlesnakes are examples of organisms found in desert one plant life a plants of deserts are also called xerophytes most plants have long roots that penetrate deep inside the soil in search of water b many plants such as cacti have fleshy stem to store water they are called succulent plants the stem is also covered with thick wax layer that helps to retain water c high temperature causes great water loss from leaves to prevent this leaves are reduced to spines desert plants use very little water through transpiration the leaves in desert plants are either absent very small or they are present in shapes of spines this helps in reducing loss of water from leaves through transpiration activity bring a potted cactus and leafy plant in the classroom tie polythene bags to some parts to the two plants move the potted plants inside and observe after few hours what do you see do you see any difference in the amount of water collected on the two polythene bags two animal life many desert animals and insects survive the heat of day by staying in burrows deep inside the sand during the day a camel has several adaptations to help him survive in desert a camel has long legs which help its body away from the heat of sand on the ground b it has long eyelashes which help to prevent sand during sandstorm it can also close its nostril to prevent sand so that sand does not enter the respiratory system c it has a hump where fat is stored this provides food in times of shortage d it can drink a very large quantity of water and then stay without water for a long time e it excretes very little water in the form of urine its dung is dry and it does not sweat f it has padded feet which allows swift movement in sand most of the desert animals are nocturnal means they come out only during night aquatic habitat and adaptations it can be further subdivided into these fresh water habitat refers to lakes rivers ponds and streams examples of animals living in these habitats are various types of fish water bugs and water lilies some of these plants have their roots fixed in the soil below the water roots are much reduced in size and their function is fixation and not absorption the stem of these plants are long hollow and light the stem grows up to the surface of water well the leaves and flower float on the surface of water 
some aquatic plants are totally submerged in water. Such plants have underwater. Some of these plants have narrow and ribbon-like leaves. This can bend in the flowing water. In some plants, leaves are often highly divided, through which the water can easily flow without damaging them. Marine habitat refers to salt water habitats in sea and oceans. The organisms living in marine habitats are known as marine organisms. Many sea animals have streamlined bodies to help them move easily in water. Know this. Marine plants like algae are the main source of oxygen for us. There are some sea animals like squids and octopus which do not have streamlined shape. These go deep in the ocean near the seabed and catch any bait which moves toward them. These animals have gills to help them use oxygen dissolved in water. There are some sea animals like dolphins and whales that do not have gills. They breathe in air through nostrils or blow holes that are located on the upper parts of their head. This spreads evolutionary significance. Coastal habitats refers to the regions where the sea meets land. There are varieties of coastal habitats that are formed for different types of organisms. As churis are coastal regions, there whereas river and stream containing fresh water meets the salty water of the sea. These unique habitats are supported by the organisms like crabs, oyster, and seaweeds and mangroves. Mountains and polar regions. Mountains are the regions that rise much higher than the land surrounding them. These habitats are cold and windy and snowfall occurs in higher regions. 1. Animal Life These habitats are normally very cold and they are goat, sheep and yak found in this region. Animals living in mountain regions are adapted to the conditions here. They have thick skin or fur to protect them from cold. For example, yak has long hair to keep warm. Snow leopard has thick fur on its feet and toes. This protects its feet from the cold when it walks on the snow. The mountain Goat have strong hooves for running up the rocky slopes of the mountain. The penguins in Antarctica have a layer of oily waterproof feathers and a thick layer of fat under the skin that regulates the body temperature. Penguins have a habit of staying together in groups to keep themselves warm. To plant life. The trees growing in mountains are cone shaped with sloping branches. Many of them, like pines, have sharp needle like leaves. It helps the snow to slide off easily. If it does not happen, the branches will break because of the weight of the accumulated snow on them.